having a tool at your disposal with an already familiar intuitive interface, one that doesn't require years of study to learn how to use, overcomes one of the steepest initial barriers to effective analysis. And having easy access to explore data it expedites learning. This exploration process is greatly aided uh, by drill down capabilities that we'll be demonstrating throughout uh, this webinar. So let me use a uh, personal example here. Um, I've been in the industry now, as Morgan said, for 39 years, but until recently I'd learned very little about uh, cryptographic data. The Z14 processor announcements have made it clear that encryption is going to have a growing presence and importance on the mainframe platform. So within the last few weeks I began exploring crypto measurement data from the RMF 70 subtype 2 records, which underlines the point that we're all still new at something and any capability that helps newer analysts ramp up more quickly will also help experienced analysts expand their expertise by learning areas uh, that are new to them. So let's just explore some data here uh, together. So for example, initially here we see the utilization of the uh, coprocessors um, and uh, peak in this environment at one point of 20%, the other values are lower. Drill in and see that uh, the, there are four of the coprocessors on that environment that are quite balanced in their utilization. Uh, if we look at uh, the uh, typical execution time for a pro process, it's uh, about 15 hundredths of a millisecond, and then the activity rate is uh, a bit uh, spiky uh, in this environment, but runs uh, around along that range. Here we see um, the um, number and the type of operations being performed. So in this environment, it's mainly uh, AES decipher calls uh, and in cipher. Uh, calls. Uh, and then if we look into this by system, we can see this environment is overwhelmingly coming uh, from these two uh, production systems and um, the uh, act operations themselves are quite um, spiky in terms of when most of the activity is happening. Now that's the operations. When you look at the uh, volume of data being operated on, it's got quite a different uh, distribution uh, than the number of operations. And if we um, drill um, on this again, we see that now all of a sudden there's a lot of data being hashed here while the number of operations for that was, was quite small uh, before. Um, and then um, finally here, um, this shows how much general purpose CPU time is consumed waiting while the crypto coprocessors uh, do their work. Uh, typically uh, less than 1% of a general purpose CPU uh, is spent waiting, but as we look at this over time, we can see it's very it correlates in this environment to the volume of uh, online workload, um, and at that point, it's uh, about one and a half percent. So I learned a lot about uh, crypto processing recently, just through having a very easy access uh, to the data.